little C. It's zoomed in too close. Oh shit, I fucked it up. Uh. Passing through Buttfuck County right now. Felix is our Australian road crew extraordinaire. He will be setting up the entire stage by himself this evening. Yes, right. James Hunt. Fuck! You know what make me happy, Melvin? If you put your fucking hands in the air, come on. Come on! Yes! That's beautiful. That makes me feel warm and special inside. If we get makeup in the front of the roll down his chin or <laughs> Let's go boys. Get in the truck boys! The deep tense lines of impatience on his face. Oh Jesus fuck. State your case bitch! <laughs> I'm too legit to quit. So here we are lads, in the middle of fucking Canberra. This is a fabulous car park in the middle of Canberra. Cool, we can finally kick that cunt little C out of the bed. So You're gonna blank that bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him as he concentrates, as he <laughs> contemplates his next beat. Mmm, mmm, yeah, feeling it, working it, touching it. I can't talk with the joint hanging out. I'm mean, in the perfectly legal uh, cigarette. But is it enough? No! I want fucking more! Let's go on at fucking three! <laughs> Loving you. Loving me. Loving me. <laughs> the metrosexual in its natural environment. You may spot the metrosexual by its overly styled haircut, which he may spend 45 minutes upwards preparing every morning before leaving their home. The metrosexual is often not considered homosexual. It's just a man who likes to groom himself. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Can not watch his back after you've done it? Just no. my hair. Now I've found my newfound metrosexuality. Accepting is... Half the solution. Get with the program. George Michael has released faith. This is what Australia looks like. Look at that, and then times it by 900 kilometers. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how it keeps from going under. Don't push me. Because <laughs> I'm close to the edge. You. Are a maggot who will one day, if you're lucky, graduate into a fucking turd. We just played a, a fuck off, a fuck off, Luki. Is that better? Hello. 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 The eternal rock. Rowan, my favourite lead vocalist, <laughs> Samantha, my favourite Doom Chick guitarist, and Dino. It's bright, but you're gonna have to deal with oh. it, man. <laughs> Yeah. 
Felix, the ever faithful road dog. Someone's got to keep up the shit. You love it. You even look like a roadie. Look at you. <laughs> Fuck you, you cyclopean maggot. That veggie man! That veggie man! He's little and he clings onto you like a fucking parasite. He's like <laughs> a little dog and a big dog. This is just one life that we've got. Life on the road's tough. That was a very documentary orientated voice, wasn't it? Signing off for theeternal.com. This is Mark Kelson. Okay, Our journey has come to a bit of an end. Or oh, slow down a lot. What's your beef? Move! Goodbye, cows. That was utterly ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome to Hong Kong. Thank the driver is in here, so let's go. Who wants to drive? <laughs> <laughs> That's an uh, office building. That's an office building? Yeah. That's the government office building. Right, that explains a few things then. Yeah. Hello. Hi. How you going? How you doing? Good. Not much point filming because no, yeah. everything is foggy. That's good. That's good. Cheap noodles. Cheap noodles. I'm in a freaking state. I'm hungry and I'm in a fucking supermarket in Hong Kong. It's being here too. It's good. It's good. It's all very good. <laughs> That's amazing. That's all very good on the shell at this point. That's fucking work. That's awesome. It's the first day. Beer is cheap. It works out to about two dollars Australian a beer. Where am I? Woo! If you die when you're drunk, it's okay. Hey you, Mark and you. Where's Mark? Where's Mark? Where's the you? Straight to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Hard night on the tiles. Robert Smith. Robert Smith. Robert Smith. I find Hong Kong to be very black metal. We are now going to the peak. Had a few lagers. Little soup. That's quite bizarre. I feel like I'm in a fucking anime film or something. That's a big ass building. As is that. What the fuck is that? This girl actually died, and when they did the autopsy, they found little eggs in her in a womb. Why? And how she died was basically she took a live lobster, put her tail in, and they actually flipped inside, but she didn't know that it was pregnant. And she died she had from lesbian infestation sex with the lobster. of lobster eggs. Oh, that's disgusting. Because a month afterwards, it cracked open. She didn't know. Sick! Metal! <laughs> I'm gonna sit here, you can sit there. Honeymoon? Ah, just, just a French. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Hello! <laughs> this is this is a band. They, Hello. A band. Where are you? From Australia. 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 Yeah. You been to Australia? You been to Australia? Uh, Go to Melbourne. They're from Melbourne. <laughs> Melbourne, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, for your DVD, right? We are at the peak. We are on a mountain. Couldn't understand There's why that the boom. boss had called me to retire those replicants. <laughs> I chopped down a bowl of noodles. They tasted like shit. That weird building. 
Do it again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why isn't it changing color anymore? It can't go when you watch. It is Ripley's Believe It or Not. Because why the fuck would you bother to make a statue of the guy that's stuck? Fucking oh, 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 oh. You sick fucking bastard. You You're the one sick. filming it. You. You're a sick. You sick. Sure, James, son. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do that to me! <laughs> Dude, this is a family DVD. It's like a... It's a restaurant. It's a restaurant. Shaped much like a boat. What are you doing? Oh, Jesus Christ. Huh? What, what is this, cops? Huh? I, that's not mine, all right? You dealing? You I'm dealing? Dude? What are you, you doing, man? I'm not doing nothing, you doing? Get away from me. I just need found out. trying to sell him, dude. What's <laughs> nothing, going on? What's, What's going good? on, man? Nothing, What's nothing. going oh, on? God, God, it's not me. No, 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 please. Oh, ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, the light, it burns! It burns! <laughs> Small Japanese girl! Into the ground! <laughs> no! Ah! He's on him! <laughs> burn! Burn! <laughs> Stop it, it burns us, precious! <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn to pull like a top player! Yeah, your own hideous light reflected back at you. <laughs> Get away from that! <laughs> Farewell! The Eternals! The Eternals! The Eternals! Yeah. Yeah. Check the website. Yeah. Okay. 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 The website. Yeah, they have a website. <laughs> yes! Bye! 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 Why did I wank? I should have saved it until you were up. Why did I do it? Tell me. Tell me. I was so desperate. Tell me, James. We had so much to drink. Oh God, what have we done? So, so hold on. Are you, are you, are you James? Are you gonna be James? You be James. You be Ryan. Okay. All right, ready? So, okay. Take. Look, look at that, James. Isn't that a lovely place? Just, just one night. I mean, I didn't think anything of it. But you know, when I was playing, I was looking at you. And, you know, you but give I've me had good a bunch feelings. Of beers and well, I love your girlfriend so much, but what am I gonna tell her? I don't know, but let's not tell anyone. But I... when the doctor's reports came back positive, let me speak first. But still, I, I, oh god, I can't take it anymore. Love it. From you don't exist. Record company types, they fuck with you, man. Tentacles. Sonny, who do you nominate for two huh? points this week on two Big points. Brother? Big Brother. Ryan, why do you nominate Ryan for two points? Because he's a happy go lucky person. And you don't like that? Uh, it's who you want to get evicted. Oh, evicted? Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> Last night in Hong Kong. Okay. Honkers. Got anything to say? <laughs> Ryan? Sure Bruiser? Sausages. We're not in England yet. Eternal fucking rules. You should be proud to have a fucking a band like them in Norris. How are you feeling? Feeling fine. James is the one with SARS. I've got SARS. How are you going, buddy? Uh, I've got some snot. I've got some snot to share with people. Everyone. There we go. The sickness is captured. Boys, have a good trip. Thanks for coming to Hong Kong. 
No worries, man. Thank you. We'll see you next year. Thanks for having us. Let's uh, fly over and just sleep over your house and get a bit of Spud gun. Spud gun. Don't you back talk me, you big bastard. I'm not getting cut, try hard. I'm not getting cut, try hard. It's not clever. <laughs> Hunched over, humping your <laughs> fist. We do not masturbate. We're having a great time, by the way. Thanks for uh, making this first gig of our tour around, uh, well, heading off to Europe. And, and uh, yeah, we just, this has been really cool. We really appreciate it. Um. Hey, Spud Gun, pay attention to me when I'm videotaping. Hello? This is quite weird. Excuse me. That's the spirit. Excuse me. Excuse me. In the UFO, Hong Kong. Very much Hong Kong. Every message. Crypto Darkness City. Go for it. That's the last one. Right? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Metal! Metal! We just got these lovely gifts. This is our Chinese names. Chris means foundation, gentle and polite. Ryan, elegant and merciful. Matt is wheat. James is... Advancement and courteous. And I am horse stamina endurance. So I'm like a machine. <laughs> ah, I'm not that again. <laughs> oh, fucking crook. Pretty crook? Oh, fucking got Duminitis. Duminitis? <laughs> you think it was the weather or? No, uh, just some virus. It's an evil virus. It's threatening mankind. <laughs> it's not state of the art, but a serious state of mind. I got a fever that can only be cured by more cowbell. We're on our way to. Uh, Helsinki. We'll be hanging out with the Finns and doing a bit of press. <laughs> I think I've had the biggest, greasiest, softest, most horrible, hateful, diabolical shit I've ever had in my entire life in that toilet. And it felt good. And it was immediately cleaned up by Hong Kong efficiency and the automatic flushing toilet, yeah. Here we are after Helsinki. How do you feel about that? Pretty good, actually, except for the uh, 40 hour flight and the 8 hour stopover in which we will be pretty much doing exactly what we're doing now wandering around making dicks of ourselves but then straight on to Manchester after that so uh, I don't know, I think we've pretty much gotten ourselves accustomed to the idea of being in a completely foreign country where no one understands a goddamn word just saying This is what a sick bass player looks like uh -huh. We're convicts and shit, you know and, and uh, we're barbaric people, we tear kangaroos apart and stuff and they don't want to fuck with us so that's why we're here in economy class. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> it was vegan when it was originally digested. Um, I guess that kind of makes it vegan. This is a very small meal. This is enough to keep me going for about 15 minutes. It's rice, potatoes, some veggies, What's gravy, the meat, and am I arm, am I arm dude? <laughs> <laughs> Purely for medicinal purposes, I have a sore throat. <laughs> I, I'm like a sick boy over there. <laughs> It's okay, Jim Bob. It's okay, buddy. And it's because he won't have any wine that he's sick. You guys are fucking cool. Finland, trolls. Uh, uh, if you're a goat, look out. It's cold here in Finland, little sea. We've just come from like, what, humid? 30 degrees, and we're here and it's like 10 degrees, it's freezing, but it's all good, it's all good, there's the extremes. Finland's award winning airport, polar bears, are you the guy that runs our record label, or are you the guy? There's polar bears everywhere dude, ah. and this is Jari, is that how you pronounce oh. your name? Yari. Am I pronouncing it? Yari? Yes, your nickname is Ozzy. Ozzy, yeah, you call us. You're, like, you're like, uh, like Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> <laughs> Australians like Aussies. A U S S I E. Ah, okay. Hello. Helsinki. Lots of beautiful trees and girls. Niin myöhästi mä oon tässä vasta matkalla kaupeli tehtävä. Sä tiedämistä ottaa peli paikalle. Where are we? Cable factory. Kaupeli tehdas. Doing promotion. 
I'm gonna hate the DVD you are showing, showing to me one day. We want to be working musicians, um, and we have a realistic goal about that. But we also know that playing in the pubs in Australia over and over again is not gonna not gonna help us because yeah. we want the world to see us. Something we felt when the album came out that we had to do it. Like whether the label's gonna help us or who's gonna help us, we're gonna yeah. do this. Even if we're not playing to, you know, we're not doing festivals or. or big crowds that we're going to go around, we're going to meet people who enjoy the music, we're going to spend time with those people and then they're going to tell their friends, right? that kind of thing. So it's a very personal tour almost. So I was thinking that most of these people that they have like similar band. I think like a lot of the bands in Firebox, they all sort of have the different elements. Even though we're all kind of similar style in Firebox, we're, we're all doing different elements of the music, I guess. Your debut album, what can you... Tell me about it. Yeah, it goes for 66 minutes. Beer, beer. Here's one for you boys at the airport. Great. It's the good stuff. Let's do it. Mm. Let's chase it. Mark and Chris from The Eternal, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, it's not every day you get people all the way from Australia here. But you're just doing one day press now and you'll be back later, right? Yeah. So you haven't had the chance to, you know, enjoy the lovely finish September which oh, is no. cold and rainy and <laughs> you come from Australia isn't it like always hot no no that's the Queensland side of things in Melbourne it can be uh, it can be exactly like what we're seeing at the window at the moment pretty yeah. cold and rainy but at the same time in the same day it can be like 30 degrees so it's like it can change within 15 minutes we're not here to talk about the weather <laughs> uh, first before we get into the album can you tell me in short the history of Eternal. We uh, formed, I think, at the end of 2002, when my other band, the uh, Crypto Darkness, broke up, um, and I wanted to put together a band. I kind of knew what I what I wanted, the kind of members I wanted. We put together the band, um, and first thing was Chris um, on the keyboards, and then we wanted to get a good rhythm section together. We basically had that together early 2003 and started rehearsing for the album. The band formed. That well, got in together in 2003, and your debut album was just released this summer, so it all just like clicked it's very quickly. Because of my experience with Crypto Darkness, the amount of time it took us a, like a long time to do things, which I knew because of my experience I could do in a short amount of time. So I knew we needed to get signed, I knew uh, it needed to be a European label because of the kind of music we played. Mm. Um, I knew that the kind of members I needed as well um, and I already had a few songs kind of together when the band started so it was basically everyone was given demos and we had a we had a grounds to start the band I happened to get lucky that we got signed really quickly as well yeah. and uh, which gave us the obviously the finance and the support to to follow through with the album an Australian band signing to a Finnish label Fireball how the hell did that happen when we when I was putting the band together at the start um, I got an email from Firebox and I was checking out their website and doing a bit of research and I thought this is a bit weird, it's like Finnish label, I don't know anything about Finland because um, I'm on the bottom of the world and you guys are at the top of the yeah. world sort of thing. And obviously they like do me type music. In the end I just thought Let, let's give them a go, let's let's try this, they've got decent European di distribution and some of the bands are really cool and mm. we just went for it. Your debut album The Sombre Light of Isolation was released like I said last summer were the, the songs on the album, were there like leftovers of Crypt of Darkness or previous band? Five new ones, sort of, five old ones. When the band sort of played them, they took a new form. They took the shape of this band and its members. Everybody, of course, mentions ACDC straight away, but and other than that, you're known from like, you know, swimmers and kangaroos or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's the, the metal scene in, in Australia? Being down the bottom, the world. It's not easy for Australian bands to tour uh, money-wise. In the last few years, a lot of Australian bands have been getting international record deals. Good bands are basically starting to hook up in Europe, and that's lifting our Australian music profile a bit. So far, the response to this album in Australia, the press have been very supportive, and it's been like we're all like, "Whoa!" We're getting airplay on major radio stations in Australia, and people showing up to our gigs. So. Maybe it's a new a new time for Australian music where they're actually starting to get into a bit yeah. more melodic bands so because our music incorporates a lot of different elements and no. maybe can appeal to people who like doom or people who like rock and people who like even black metal or thrash or whatever. There's bits of 
not necessarily thrash, but there's a lot of different <laughs> things going on. Now you're you're starting a, a three-week European tour, but on your way here you stopped in Hong Kong, being the first doom band to ever play in China. What the hell? Well, yeah. I, Asia's close for us. Um, it's like, it's um, it, it's actually the market that would be closest to us for yeah. to music. I mean, it's close to us in Europe, obviously. Firebox has a distributor, um, Trinity Records there, and they've actually licensed our album. So it just worked out well that on the way here, we could kind of stop over and do that show. The Japanese are crazy about Yeah, they're crazy too. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. how about the Chinese then? We got such a great reaction from it. With the cameras and the autographs mm. and the yeah, yeah. crazy Follow stuff. YouTube. We're hoping to work on it over the next, next year. We hope to tour like Japan, China and mainland China and you know maybe do eight shows there or something. You get a bit more of a thing going like the... You filmed the gig too so you're going to be re releasing it on DVD later on or... We are planning to make a DVD of this whole tour thing um, at some stage which is why we're going yeah. around the place with video cameras and it's gonna yeah, be I'm really gonna be on the DVD. Mm -hmm. Nailing a, a three-week tour of Europe, being the first doom band in China ever, releasing an album in in, in in one year. There's nothing pretty much I can say. Then congratulations, you guys must be happy too because this is like must be amazing. For you. It's great, and I hope that that this lays the path for the second album to kind of take off and no. you know fingers crossed we can come back again sometime. The next time you'll be coming back is in just a few weeks. You'll be playing a few shows here, and before you go. You have to choose because one of you has to present the eternal in in my shows. Uh, this kind of man test. So eight quick questions, eight quick answers. Mark from the eternal and from Australia down under. Are you ready for the man test? I'm ready for the man test. Have you ever stared death in the face? Yes. Have you ever smashed something in a moment of anger? Uh, yes. Have you ever totally crashed a car? No. Have you ever been in a real fist fight? No. Have you ever passed out while taking a shit? <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a point for that. When was the last time you threw threw up because of alcohol? On the Australian tour, all over the place. Okay, so within a year. Yeah. Yeah, I'd oh, say yeah. within oh, week, yeah. within weeks. Have you ever seen pornography that made you feel sick? Yes. Have you ever had sex with a woman heavier than you? Mm, no. Five out of eight, not bad at all, not bad at all. Is it good to have sex with a woman heavier than me? Of course it is. A real man has sex with everything that comes across. <laughs> <laughs> but five out of eight, that's good. That's really, that's better than the average. Nick a six got six out of eight in, in the same test, so you're quite close to Nick a six. Oh, there you go. Thanks a lot and enjoy our shows and tours and time in Europe. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> Manchester. Manchester. And we feel like we're in an episode of The Bill. You were nicked! Huh? Yeah! Huh? Huh? He was like the bad guy. Dun 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 You're completely fucking cracked up, haven't you? I'm on the way. I have a famous, I have a famous fake there Scottish accent. A lovely shade of grey. Let's go all rest our stuff. Currently, you're going on the M60 towards Leeds. You won't need to go as far as Leeds. You guys should just take your cut your guitars out there and run up and down the hills I'll like a, like a mortal. <laughs> Halifax, Halifax. The English countryside. It's a very local. A local Australian. Tubbs? Oh, Tubbs. Hello there. Oh, wow, his, uh, his swimming pool. That is impressive. <laughs> I mean, this Halifax's Olympic swimming pool, as installed, Massive generously involved the site for it to be installed, and, and here we go. Voila! Don't know what happened to the name Crypto Dines, anyway. Oh, that band? Ah, yes, indeed. That you know? I do indeed. Yeah, uh, well, I had to. Well, you know, we might have heard of the guy that played violin at one bit. Hello! It's far too early in the tour for that. Dropping in online to find out how you're <laughs> progressing and things like that. So I spent some reports and shit like that. Goodbye! The Yorkshire rain is hammering down. Precipitation. We clean up mill. 
and we've had a couple of pints, and now we're on the road with the prophecy. You can't exactly say this isn't blue, because it is. The White Cliffs of Dover. Oh, is it like that's a, that's no. Hello, little C. Wee wee, poo poo. Ah, uh, yo, wee. play. Fucked. We're in France. La la. We'll just have to take it as it comes. Hello. We are in Belgium with this uh, Sissy Mel, very, very good energy drink, chocolate based. And we're actually stopping over in Holland now as well, which I didn't know we were going to do. And then we're going to head to Luxembourg. And uh, so that's pretty much four countries in a couple of hours of crazy shit. But yeah, we're, we're enjoying the, uh, the Belgian delights. Belgian people seem pretty friendly. I've only spoke to the lady at the petrol station. G'day. I think we personally should pick up a portable barbie and invite our European friends to barbecue with us around the place. As you may notice, it's daylight. The last update was in fact not daylight and we have in fact not slept since. Still in Belgium. We're not playing in Belgium till tomorrow. No, we're not playing in Belgium till Sunday. Last count I believe today is Friday. It's Friday, isn't it? They think of a rainbow! And I'll make it come real. We're in Holland, dude. Look at that. Typical Dutch houses. Dutch radio. <laughs> we did realize that it was, in fact, 8 o'clock in the morning and we were singing Kokomo by the Beach Boys along with the radio. Basically, I'm really upset because we're not going to Rotterdam or Amsterdam. Oh, Dutch forest. Maybe I'll go and park in front of you. In Luxembourg. Does anyone know any Luxembourg traditional folk songs? What about you needed a ship? Badly. Uh, <laughs> Touching clock. Here we are in Luxembourg. Loading stuff. Normal everyday town. It's a quaint. Sex? Oh, me. Drogo. No. Very interesting. All of a sudden, in this normal little everyday town, is this room of perversions. First gig of the domination. is working again. Guess who's back in the filmmaking business? Guess who's back in the filmmaking business? When did that start working again? This morning. Bad timing, I'm sure it is. Yeah, I'm not getting the best footage right now. I recommend you save the batteries. Here we are in Spain. 
Barcelona, and we don't know where we are. <gasps> ah, I cut you up so bad. You're gonna wish I didn't cut you up so bad. <laughs> So how do you guys feel like rocking Spain tonight, motherfuckers? Yay. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Scream on me! Pip the I say, you know, hi ho, ride the jolly old range, that kind of thing. Douche. Douche. Mappy! In Spain, I want to be called. Oye, me dejes un pie de guitarra. <laughs> Drop and give me ten, Hamshake! I'm hoping that this and this cures my SARS. It's getting the full debaucheriness of it all. It's medication, dude. It's what are you stuff. trying to absorb? Ah! Ah! James Hunt's walking around these fucking long johns. They got the arms over the sides. Yeah, dude! <laughs> Services, trying to enjoy ourselves in Spain, but we've been crushed. Here we have Matt Lawson's favorite pastime. <laughs> round and round the roundabout on our way to Portugal. What, 2,000 kilometers to go after this gig to get back to England? Fuck! Thank you! visiting that famous county again. Wow, fuck. Such a pretty little place. Hey, you on there, Christian? I'm all right. You having a good day? Not too bad. I've been stoned since the moment I woke up, pretty much, and slept half the way here, so it's all good. That looks interesting. <laughs> Oh
Is that a promoter for Portugal? Prophecy. An eternal in little butt fuck letters. Eternal. Ah! Apparently it holds a thousand. Shit. Taylor's pot. But this is the home of pot. Potto. Not the camera. Understanding? Yes. Here we are at the hard club. Let's go. There's one of the dressing rooms. There's the set times for tonight. The eternal on 12 10 past the witching 12. hour. 10 past the witching hour. We're going around, it's the backstage area. Biohazard to play here, Saxon. Fear Factory, Machine Fear Factory. Paradise Lost have played here. Here's the stage. You want a few fucking people in here. We're behind the stage where the lighting rig is. It's pretty cool. Here's the little desk where the, the fold back mixer goes. Top of the hard club. Look at that stage. There's a guitarist for Portuguese band Desire. Oh. You boys and girls, you want a view of Portugal? This is an interrogation. <laughs> we have ways of making you talk. <laughs> We're actually <laughs> long lost twins. This is supreme close. Uh, These ways are of the full Kelson. Well, that's, so instead that's of like just capturing natural stuff, you just got fucking three seconds of contrived bullshit like what I'm saying now. I'm not camera. denigrating your work, I'm just saying the way that people behave but when you whip the camera. I'm saying isn't indicative of how only, they behave. But we have in to, real life. Are you willing real. to pay for the fucking cameraman? For fuck! But what's your point? That's my saying. point. This is probably the most interesting piece of material that's gone down on the videotape for the whole freaking tour. I just wanted a little bit of pre-gig banter and it turned into something horrible. It's the only juicy bit of material you've got. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. What's that got to do with the price of fish? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. I see you've done a fine job. We're just uh, listening to Mark Kelson sing some shower metal. WC. Tell, please. What are you doing? Ah! Ah! Yes? Hi. Ah, say, say no! Say, so you never asked me that. Ah, say, say no! Ah, say, say no! that we are the Eternal from Australia and it's uh, really great to be here from the other side of the world so please make some noise for us tonight. That's the spirit. Give us some uh, good memories for when we go back home. Smart. Smart. This is Johnny. <laughs> Ham shank. How's it hanging? That was funny the first couple of times I heard it. This is now the 782nd time. That's the beauty of a nickname. It grinds you down. No, no, see, I'm, I'm happy with this one because it makes Johnny happy. And if Johnny's happy, I'm happy. He's special to me. Yo, idiot. You're the one walking around with that fucking camera pointing at his assholes. You'll be seeing the full turkey and turkey neck. What are you, what are you fucking looking at? <laughs> Don't fuck with me. It's still for me. You did that. It's been a rough night. It's been a rough tour. I'm not actually as much as I perhaps might be trying to make out, but I do need a reefer. Now you're speaking a basic non-verbal language that he understands. <laughs> I can't punch their van because they're bigger than me. Signing off. Goodbye.
Drinking Finnish beer. Whoa! Whoa. Nearly died in Finland. This is Mannerheim in Deer, main street in Helsinki. This is the main train station. You see? You see your name in the lights, boys? This is a very historic venue, by all accounts. Because we're only doing video play here. Yeah! Right. The female counterparts of your... Yeah! The naked sauna? Naked sauna. Oh yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs>
寂寞。